Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Mad Mike Mayhem wrap up. There he is. You, yeah, we started the show with you. It's not because you're completely yeah. the last position. I had this on when I queued it. That's fine. I, I sort of sometimes I'm always in the last we, position. We are the utmost of professionals here. I don't care what the United Kingdom says. I'm at Sorgatron here on the Twitter. We are in Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. Nick Farah is back with us. Hey. We can hear him because he's using a real microphone yep. this this that's, that's this microphone. week, and he's in the studio and has he's well, There's we, headphones. There were questions about the. the uh, <laughs> I was worried because I thought you weren't didn't have headphones, so you couldn't hear Mike. But you're still wearing headphones. Oh, I am. Okay. Yeah, I pulled the other one. There, there were questions it's about magic. the guitar in your room, the, in the chat room, like something about there weren't weren't any strings on we, it or something. Are we bringing that up right now? Like, do I we have to are, explain that real quick? Because we couldn't, you, we couldn't hear you to explain anything last week. Okay. All right. So the guitar, I got it at a yard sale. It's a 1940s guitar. The lady wanted fifteen. Uh, no, she wanted fifty dollars for it, and I was like, eh. And she goes, "Will you give me ten? And I said, "Sure." So I took that thing home, I fixed it up, and I still haven't put strings on it yet. Shine it up and never know. No, that's hey. something else. That's something else. Man, Mike, how are you doing? Oh, oh boy, um, I'm I'm existing. You're existing. <laughs> I'm existing. I'm I'm ready for shows to have only one roster on them. Oh yeah. yeah? Oh yeah. Really little, ready for that. Completely really, really ready, ready for, for that. Do you, a, know, do you know NXT has not even announced a team for Survivor Series yet? I noticed because I saw the graphic. Yeah. It's so that's weird. Is it just problem. Is it just whoever survives War Games? It's the demo guys from 2K20. Well, see, the the thing is, the, the Survivor Series team has five people. Mm-hmm. War Games has four. Mm-hmm. Now, I thought it would have been fun if we just ran a five-on-five War Games we throw Matt Riddle in back with Chompa's team and throw Finn Balor with the Undisputed Era guy. There you go. There you go. And then you just and then you just add Dakota Kai, and you add someone else on Shayna's side, like I don't know anybody, <laughs> and and then you just take the winners of the war game matches and have them be the Survivor Series teams. Yeah. Yeah. But I guess we're making it way more complicated than i thought that be. was what was going on i nope, i don't know it's definitely not because undisputed era are booked in individual matches at survivor series they um, are they are i yeah i i i'm looking for it i didn't watch smackdown so i don't have any context for anything that might have happened there um, nothing happened uh, nothing happened I, nothing the happened. belt is blue oh. i know the belt is blue belt now is blue. the belt is blue that's the only thing Thing. And it, are we at the Bray point? Why is fighting Daniel Bryan? Am I going to have more jo- enjoyment if I actually watch WWE backstage? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? Who the fuck knows this week? Are we are we saying that WWE backstage may be the top, the actual A brand it, of WWE right now? It may be the show to watch. They did week. just have Gabriel Iglesias on there too. I just watched that. That was and, fantastic. And you know who else is on besides some dude named Phil? Some dude named Phil. 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 Yeah. Phil. You, Phil. There's Phil. two former champions on this week's sword. Do you know who else is on it? Who? Former WCW champion David Arquette. You what? Yeah, I, I saw I saw that shared with RJ City tweeting. Oh, yeah, RJ that's City was like, oh, like, thanks. I'll, I'll just go fuck myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Um, and I don't think David Arquette has ever been on WWE programming officially, right? Um, Maybe in the crowd? As a, as a fan. As yeah, a fan? Yeah. As... Yes probably appropriate no oh no as a fan and he was mentioned as he was tagged as former wcw <laughs> champion david arquette oh. yeah. That's, yeah that's that's a shoot brother i i really hope they're gonna do one of those um oh what the hell's the guy I, I realize i realize i haven't watched a lot of new program on wwe for for a little bit now um the one the untold that they've been doing yeah I, i'm hoping they do one on like the david arquette like title reign uh, that'd be interesting. It would be fun. 
It'll be fun to see his perspective uh, and, and everything. And probably just delve into Ready to Rumble commentary, which I'm all for. Well, like, <laughs> aren't we all in? Why isn't that even on the network? Who owns Ready to Rumble? Is that a Disney uh, property? Am I going to get it on Disney Plus now? Oh, oh I hope we get it on Disney Plus. Actually, it's probably going to be on HBO Max. I mean, there's not a lot that Disney doesn't own anymore. Yeah, seriously, seriously. I was like, I'm like, why, why are there two Narnia movies on here? Wait, weren't there three? So oh, they that... made, like, they made like four Narnia movies. Right, but it, like I was looking, I thought it was like three, but I think a fourth was supposed to happen. But it's like, oh yeah, the third one was uh, distributed by 20th Century Fox. It was the first one not under Disney, and I'm like, oh, how about that? Yeah. <laughs> Guess what's coming? Were there three or four? I thought there were. four. I saw three in the, and then Netflix is doing one now. I mean, there's like six books, but you maybe know. that's what I'm thinking of. Could be. Uh, Could Tina be. wants to know: Was Raw watchable tonight? It depends. Do you like to bleed from your eyeballs? Oh no, I'm oh. kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, Did we get like was triple? It? Raw was Raw watchable? Yes, physically, you could sit and watch it for three hours. It was a good was thing. Was it enjoyable? It depends on what you like. It was a if good you f- like if, if you like matches that are be constantly being interrupted, like I'm doing to Sorg. <laughs> <laughs> See, Sorg, I was running a gimmick. I was, I was doing a gimmick. Yeah, okay. It wasn't the Skype like, lag at all. No, um, no. I was, I was doing a gimmick on purpose. <laughs> but anyways, um, it, I forget what I was going to say now. <laughs> <laughs> it was a perfectly good thing to have on the, the TV while you're talking with other people in the studio about other wrestling. Yeah. Yeah, Which is entirely uh, like, what we were doing. But but if you're like me, who actually doesn't sit with friends and watches it because, you know, no one else is here in, you're... in Beacon, then you want to claw your eyes out. There's that. There's that. Right. And, and you're also trying to keep track of every fucking person that was on tonight. Because mm-hmm. I'm sorry. The Forgotten Sons, you don't need to be on Raw Mm-mm. for any fucking reason. Mm-mm. And also, uh, so what was the finish of the Kevin Owens Drew McIntyre match? I don't think there was one. Exactly. At all. Yeah, yeah. So- match walked out and said hi. Mm-hmm. That was that was that Got was him a end. bottle of water. And, and Drew just Drew just left. Mm-hmm. So well, I'm done here. <laughs> yeah, I'm done like, here. Um. Okay, I, let's roll this back. Let's roll this back. Let's roll this back. Mm-hmm. We didn't start start the show appropriately. Hey, you know what? Man, the Mike, show kicked off with the iconics. So there, was, that's your good from wrestling this week, right? Um, hmm. Yeah, I guess. I guess that no, my good from wrestling is the CM Punk reveal. I'm backstage. Mm. That was great. Uh, Nick, what was your good from wrestling this week? Uh, I like the blue title. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm a fan of that. Uh, but personal wise, I worked at RAPW's uh, ninth anniversary show. Okay, that was pretty fun. I repped a good guys match. Okay. A uh, lot of action. I'll tell you what. Those, I, I give it up to the refs who have been doing this for forever, like Sean Patrick. This is the Youngstown promotion? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, Sean Patrick, you're a god. And you're my dad. And Matt, we love you. Matt Carlin's just saying uh, the answer to your Drew and KO. Uh, dad came downstairs and told him to knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> quit, quit horsing around. Sorry. <laughs> Appropriate. Hey, you two quit screwing around. Um, so so my good in, in wrestling was actually MMA. Uh, <laughs> so I, I don't think that counts. I, well, it, it kind of does, dude. There was a lot of wrestling at this MMA show. There was biting. That's, what? That's not wrestling. There was a biting. There was a, there was a North Carolina street fight. So I think you're just naming different people's kinks. Uh, <laughs> that's how they book uh, MMA in, in North Carolina, apparently. No, I got to work with a, uh, a showcase MMA uh, in North Carolina. We're doing the live stream for them uh, Saturday night. To try to, the, the old crew got back together. Uh, uh, producer Missy and uh, Chachi went down, and we um, strung them precariously from the side of a cage while they filmed uh, uh, Sweaty Dick Punching. Um, if you're new, if you're from anything, that's what we always called MMA for years on this show. Mm-hmm. And there's a 14. It's still not wrong. There is a 14 year uh, lore of that. Okay. Uh, so, uh, but anyways, but it was like it was it, it it was a fun show. We saw they had they there were what was it a a, a a 12 and a 13 year old had a grappling uh, a, a exhibition in the octagon as part of this. 
the Chicago, or I'm sorry, the, I keep wanting to call it Chicago street fight for some reason. The North Carolina street fight was just striking, no grapples, all stand up, just a striking match. Huh. Right? Um, Who got knocked out? I, nobody got knocked out on that one. Um, Damn it. There was the bite that happened. There was the um, knockout that happened at the end of the show uh, where it was it was like 40 seconds. The guy threw one punch and knocked a dude right clean out. I've never seen anything like it in person. And they picked this guy up. And it was like you, we, we saw, I think it was Missy shot where you see the guy asking what, ha- what happened. I guess he was like, oh, I, I'll get right back up. We're good. We're good to go. And the guy's like, no, dude, this, the fight's over. Like you got knocked out, dude. Like it looked like the scene from Friday where he's like, you got knocked the fuck out. Right. Damn. Um, this guy's getting up and he's stumbling. He goes, he shakes hands with the guy and then stumbles again. And somebody had to catch him. It was like this was so like I couldn't believe that this was real life right now with the way this thing was going. I was cracking it up when the, when the bite happened, like the commentators were just kind of lost it on that. And we like, you know, he, like the guy went up and showed the bite to it was on his arm. Like he had a hold over his face and the guy, the guy just straight bit him. <laughs> there was a nut shot. There was like there was 11 fights and I couldn't believe how fast everything was. So there really was sweaty dick. Punching. There was a lot. Actually, there was there was some straight study, sweaty dick punching. Um, there was a lot going on. And why did my camera get so dark? That's weird. Um, but uh, it, it was it was a lot of fun. Uh, most of that is if you go to the uh, showcase MMA on on Facebook, uh, you can see I think all but the first four match or, matches are up there right now uh, from the live stream. But uh, we had some you know some difficulties in the first part of the show that we had to get ironed out, unfortunately live because you gotta go live, pal. <laughs> I mean, we don't got a production truck with ten people back there, so you know when we do these things. But it was a lot of fun. Um, the one of the announcers that was with us um, apparently did uh, NWA 70th anniversary pay per view, huh. um, and there were a lot of pro wrestling references. I knew I was in a good place when the first one I heard was a reference to the Wide Eye Southern Boy, uh, uh, Tracy Smothers, as part of the. <laughs> so wow, I was it was. Is... I mean, that's like, and they were talking about like Brutus and stuff too here and that's, there. That's deep cuts. Yeah, yeah. That's... It was one of the guys that that, that fought. Uh, I believe I think it was the the semi main. Um, actually, they they're just talking about like all the stuff he does because he does like the MMA and then this and uh, a couple other couple other uh, martial arts. And they mentioned that he was a pro wrestler as well. Huh. So I need to look him up and see what he's been doing. Um, so no, it was it was some pretty fun stuff. So uh, also Tina saying NWA power again. Camille cutting the better promo without talking than some of the WWE main roster does talk. I need to catch up with last week's dark in uh, power. Still, actually, so um, good stuff there. Good, st- good stuff, guys. I, I still have not been able to watch Dynamite from last week. Oh yeah, I just haven't had a chance to get. You haven't seen it. our buddy Wardlow's debut. Well, you probably seen nope. the clips. I, I, I've seen the clips. Like I've seen clips here and there, but I, I just haven't had a chance. By the way, wait, 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 congratulations to Wardlow for yeah. debuting. Friend yes, of the show. I mean, we've really and good guy. We've had the fortune to probably film most of his career <laughs> to be honest right uh between the promotions in the area and erie he's what five years in something like that yeah something like that, that and i don't know that he's done terribly much outside of um here in pittsburgh Erie, in cleveland right um he did some creek town uh, but that was an extension of of uh iwc here but uh, but uh yeah, not, like he's not like a dude that traveled a bunch. But Shudo mm. wasn't either. Like Shudo barely got out of Pittsburgh and Shudo. got a shot. I, I lie, sorry guys. Um, I was like, no, it's okay. You can still say. I Shudo. was looking up an interview sheet because I was mm. trying. To, we we just booked Bubba the Bulldog, and he's like, he, oh for real. And I'm like, yeah, man, we haven't had you on for a while. It was 2008. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think the last time Bubba the Bulldog was on. Mayhem Missy introduced him. I'm sure because I think I'm pretty sure Mayhem Missy sung his theme song. Yeah, Bubba the Bulldog. Bubba, Bubba the Bulldog. Bubba, 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 yeah, yeah, he, yeah still, I, he, he still comes out to that at yeah. KSWA. Because yeah, I for those not in the area, Bubba the Bulldog is a local um, radio personality. I think Mark Madden, but not a douchebag. Yeah, but but also wrestles. Yes, and I believe had a part trained with or had a part helping to train Kurt Angle. I if I'm not mistaken, well, he told us about a he told us about it 12 years ago when he was on the show. Uh, so go back and listen to <laughs> I think it was I think I pulled it up Wrestling Man Show 147. Oh boy, <laughs> or maybe oh, or maybe boy, it was 174. 
You we know, were children then. We were babies. We were babies. We were babies, but somehow Eamon was still a fetus. Yes, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's see. Eamon may not have even existed. On By the way, and also Warlow, uh, well dressed in the. I love that the first thing we hear is 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 Jr. saying he looks good in that uh, Burberry. <laughs> what really, what really threw me off was. Is that Wardlow? And then Jr. goes, "That oh, I know. Is that his name? I don't know anything about this guy." <laughs> Meanwhile, like I mean, if you read any of the sheets, you're like, "We're really taking a look at him. Like he's really doing good." And then, mm-hmm. I didn't know nothing about him. Yes. I mean, well, I mean, it's not like Jr. does prep work. Hey, this is thing. they they don't give a fuck anymore. No, no. But they they should both be off television. Ah. Uh... Here we go. I have to say it once. I have to say it once a show. Once a show. And the, and the fact that Joe did not choke out King tonight was my worst thing of the week. Yeah. So Samoa Joe and commentary. What's was, what's the jury? Fine. What's the jury for this one? He was he was fine. Mm-hmm. He was... I I, mi- I missed Dio. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. He was no CM Punk. <laughs> <sighs> Few are. Few are. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I mean, he, he made me not have to. He made me listen to thirty three point three 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 repeating less King. Mm-hmm. So I'm okay with that. I mean, it definitely helps when you have somebody in your ear the entire show telling you what to say. Hmm. No, because King has that too, and it doesn't help him at all. Yeah, but because King still had to make a racist comment where where Rey Mysterio was going to beat Brock Lesnar like a pinata. Oh, did I miss that? Yeah. Wow. King is fucking garbage. He's wow. a garbage person. He's a garbage announcer. But he's, he's all... pretty much garbage at everything. In fact, garbage. I'm insulting garbage for associating King with that because at least garbage can be reused. <laughs> I mean, he's been in the business how long now? I mean, he's obviously doing too some... long. Okay. Too long. But he's made a career on being that guy. Mm-hmm. This will last 30 yeah, years but, of it. Yeah. But that doesn't mean he has to keep doing it. He found his man. thing. It's hard to he change. He doesn't need to buy another Batmobile. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't need to buy another Batmobile? Let's, I mean, let's, let's, let's roll that back for a minute. Speaking of Batman, saw the Joker this weekend. Oh, yeah? Ooh. That was fantastic. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, th- by the way, those stairs are bullshit. Stairs? I fucking hate those stairs. Those stairs are from where uh, Mike used to oh. live. Oh. You've been here for that yeah. conversation. No. No. No, because we didn't talk to Joker because no. we haven't seen it. Uh, recap from the other show. Uh, he used to live over by those stairs in the Bronx. And when we visited when we were you know, like 10 years ago when we first visited Mike in New York from uh-huh. knowing him from the show back when I thought he was a girl for a minute from the emails. Mm-hmm. Um, I was very from confused Canada. from, from Canada. Canada. I don't know. I, I just was really bad at reading emails and, and having a voice in my head mm-hmm. when I read them, I, apparently. Mm-hmm. And apparently it sounded northern um, and not from the Bronx. And uh, and then one time Chad the Shad threw a baby seat. No, I'm sorry, an entire full car seat. I screw this yep. every time. Those Down seat. those very stairs that you saw in Joker. Huh. So... Yeah. Those chairs, those stairs have history with us. Wow. And none of them involve dancing like that. And they are an asshole. I'm yes. just saying so much more makes sense now. <laughs> yep. So many of things. Of Joker or this show? Life. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you um, would, you'd be well, surprised if, can I say it? Oh, yeah. Viewer discretion is biased. You'd be su- surprised what a fucked up movie can actually make so much more sense. So so I love that. I read, I read your comment. Oh, where did my... The camera went again. I got I got to lose connection here or something. There it is. Um, we do. Hey, we had to take the studio with us to North Carolina. <laughs> We're getting it back together. Nice. Um, I, you you made a comment about like uh, and and uh, about uh, uh, seeing it with a special lady or something. Oh yeah. And, and then I'm just like I wanted to respond, and it's probably even more asshole to do it here. But uh, I wanted to be Maybe like, public given 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 the stasis of some of the points in that movie, are you sure you were seeing it with a nice lady? <laughs> Oh no, she's she's amazing. She's no, no, amazing. no. I mean, no, is no, she real? real? Oh, you are such an ass. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, this is the internet. Until we see proof, mm-hmm. we assume everyone's significant other is fiction. Yeah, 
Oh, the, 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 that's that's kind of a basis for our show too. Mm-hmm. Like the only reason we know Sorg is married is because Missy scowls at him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hi, Missy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> doing it right now. A little bit of wavy. Exactly. See, yeah, wavy, wavy. Oh. <laughs> she just waiting for me to finish so she can go home. So <laughs> that's yeah. what she said. Mm, that is what she said. <laughs> it's a go home show, Sorg. It's a go it's home a go show. Home show. No. It's a go. This is every week. This is the no go home. home. Show. We gotta have the money shot. This is the go. <laughs> this is the go home show for the wrestling mayhem show every week. Every, oh god! Every, every week I think we kick it off right most of the time. <laughs> this is this is how we set the tone. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then we go to the mayhem show. And Ronnie then, comes in wrestling, and then Ronnie, we, yeah, Ronnie comes in with a belt that he completely earned. And yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm waiting for the night that he just shows up here, walks into the studio, and goes, "Quit the fucking business," and then walks right back out. I'm waiting for that. I night. think he, if he, you know, maybe we'll, we'll, he he can remote in now, so we can actually have him do that on remote. Uh, Ronnie, <laughs> oh, don't do boy. it. Um, no, let's see. I'm going to see about inviting him and see if we can just sword, pop in. Sword. <laughs> sword. Can we talk about the real winner of the weekend? Uh that would be Baby Yoda. <coughs> I'm sorry, Baby Yoda. Baby oh, Yoda. Yes. Yeah, baby Yoda. I need to watch it. Let this no is, harm is come good to that little little bouncing oh, bubble geez. of joy. Oh jeez! No harm come to him. If that if the rest of the series is just uh, the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda just not speaking and having adventures together, yeah. I mean we're I am okay it's like with like a wordless Calvin and Hobbes. <laughs> And I'm entirely on board. Yes, yes. I mean, that needs to be a comic strip out of this, right? Yes. How did you just like drop something so iconic? It's just iconic after iconic thing. Hey guys, let's hijack a a a a, a jaw. Rutini. <laughs> you got like, hey, you know what we haven't seen for a while? Hot Java action. Yeah. Jawa action. Yes disintegrating Jawas like it's your fucking job. Like your fucking job, dude. By the way, spoilers for The Mandalorian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Honestly, wait a minute, know, I still no got it. Show, we talk about I don't know why fuck. it says New Japan spoilers, but spoilers nonetheless. <laughs> yes. Well, let's be honest, like most of that stuff's just everywhere on New the internet Jawa anyways. New Jawa fan spoilers. Jeez. You just spoon feed us 30 minutes of... of baby yoda a week God. and expect us not to jeez there was a good uh-huh. hours worth that like i was scrolling through facebook i couldn't go more than five posts without seeing baby no yoda. No. no and it and happens as quick as you shouldn't it, it's it's i i need a pop i need a plushie he's already kind of a pop isn't he no i need i need an official pop though like mm-hmm. would he be shorter probably what I mean, I like, I saw the one that said dad going out for cigarettes and it was an empty box. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm just, yeah. I'm allowed to make that joke, okay? I'm allowed. I can say that. I'm just. Is, is that because you're a smoker? Mm-hmm. I don't get it. <laughs> are we really going into my past? Like, okay. I, 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 are, are we becoming this show? Are, are, we, are we doing the show? We? I'm joking. So my dad left. I'm just kidding. Um, no, I'm good. So I, I, there, was, so I, was, I don't know what to do with the show now. Three for a hot second, and I thought better of it. I am like, do we need to Doctor Phil this shit now? I don't know what's. It's okay. We'll get Doctor Shelby here on on this bitch, and you know. Well, we'll that's it, it for me, everyone. Have a good night. Um, no, yes. but we could talk to Rockingham. <laughs> Doctor Rockingham, can you help us with this? <laughs> Oh, 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 oh uh, uh, my Mike! I don't think you know Doctor Daniel C. Rockingham, do you? I, I do not. He has but pamphlets. I, I think I have someone who can help. Hmm. <laughs> Tell me what you got. <laughs> <laughs> he says I'm everybody's daddy. <laughs> Genetic jackhammer. Vent to me, motherfucker. Dad, is that you? <laughs> you finally came back from getting milk. Oh wait, it was cigarettes. He got both. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know. That's what took him so long. Yeah. <laughs> he had to wait for the next shipment to come in. Oh. You no, know, he actually had to raise the cow in order to get the milk. Yeah, but he was too lazy to milk it. Sorry. Well, yeah. <laughs> Matt Carlin's, hold on, let me pull up the spoilers again. They're completely on Tatooine, right? Um, I don't think so. Are there Jawas on other things? Yeah, I assume so. I don't know, because there's that and there's those things that... 
They were they were cooking those things that hang out with uh, Jabba the Hutt. I, I'm thinking they're on Tatooine. Uh, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Somebody confirm that. Mandalorian, Tatooine. Confirm or deny. What's By happening? By the way, can we give John Favreau some fucking credit? Mm-hmm. He, Elf, Iron Man, Baby Yoda. <laughs> All his. <laughs> Oh, his! I want, I want all like. Does anybody else just want to frame every piece of art that that's in the end credits? Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's pretty great. All right, I want to get out of here because my my camera keeps going out, and I need to troubleshoot this for tomorrow's show. Uh, so, uh, Mad Mike, Nick Farah. Sorry, sorry, guy. Hold on, I have a recommendation. Yes, it, it's a comic book recommendation. Ooh, Sorg. This is this is Spider Man life story. No way. Hmm. It is one of the best comic books I've ever read. So what is it? It's basically the life story of Spider Man. Okay. It starts and what it is is it? T- it was like uh, six or seven issues. Mm-hmm. Each one is from a different decade. Okay. Okay. So it starts, so it starts in the sixties. So this sounds like this sounds a lot like the uh, Grand Design, kind of X Men Grand Design. Yeah, and it's it's kind of like Marvels too. Okay, so so kind of a mix between the two. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it's just snapshots into Peter Parker's life. Mm-hmm. You get a little like there's a lot of fill in the blank stuff. Mm-hmm. A lot of stuff you can tell has happened by who's there and who's not. Mm-hmm. A lot of stuff they explicitly state in like expositional stuff. But it goes all the way to 2019. Wow. And holy shit, is it good. And plus, it has one of my favorite artists on it. I'm just going to randomly show a... hmm, Let's see, what's a good splash page? Ah, the guy that does the art, Mm. Mark Mark Bagley from Ultimate Spider-Man. I was going to say that looks almost identical. In... Yeah, Mark Bagley from Ultimate Spider-Man, the guy that oh. worked with Brian Michael Bendis so, to do like Miles Morales and everything. Like, mm-hmm. oh, so, yeah. so I would recommend X Men since we're going down this route. I would I recommend X Men Grand Design. It's done by um um. Oh, what's his first name? I just I want to say the I want to say his brother's name because we know his brother, uh, referee Bobby Williams' brother. Uh, I've had the pleasure. What's the you, last name? You met him. He's, What's the last name, sir? Uh, Pisker. Oh. Ed Pisker. That's it. Yeah. So he he's actually worked on a, a American Splendor. So it's pulp. a very pulp look to it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it's even if you pick up, it, you know, it's on news, like kind of a newsprint kind of uh, paper to it, too. So I felt really bad when I got the digital version after we talked to him. Because he was been here on uh, Comic Book Pit to talk about it, too. So, um. I actually first met him at a wrestling show with his brother. So, uh, but he was working on the grand design. I think the second, yeah, I think I do have a digital of the second one that they put out too. Um, and it's and it's like, it's it's the really quick kind of recap. It's basically a giant recap book <laughs> of like, again, kind of a decade, right? Like okay. the first one is I think all the way up to it's it's all the old X Men, like before. Like Wolverine and everything before they rebooted. Mm. But by the way, Sorg, do you want to see the splash page of Secret War? Hmm. Nice. This is, doesn't help you guys on audio. Is Waldo it's, in there anywhere? Uh, no, I looked. Oh damn but, it! But there's there's a lot. Like honestly, the trade just the uh, came out a little bit ago. Mm-hmm. Go to your local Barnes Noble. I don't think it's at a library yet. Fucking buy it. Mm-hmm. Support mm-hmm. comics. Support co- It's fucking great. I'm going to check my library, too, while I'm at it. Yeah. Uh, also, just re- just read the first trade of uh, Immortal Hulk. Ooh. It's excellent. after he, It's after he got a shot in the head with uh, at a like, spoiler resort. Hold on. Let me put the spoilers up again. Uh, he got shot in the head at, during um, um, Civil War Two, mm-hmm. and uh, they thought he was dead. Turns out now he just kind of shares... Basically, whenever he dies, he just comes back at night as Hulk, and Hulk just kills whoever killed him. So he's Were Hulk. It, it is Were Hulk. It is Were Hulk. 
and then kind of takes a left turn. Like I, I'm like, hey, this kid, like he's wandering. He's trying not to let anybody know he's around. And then he like you know kills a burglar because they killed so like some ten year old in a, in a hold up and him. So it's um it's interesting. It's interesting. It gets dark really quick. It gets real, dude. It fucking starts dark. It's like, hey, just take old, take old Hulk, but just like dark. It's mm. it's interesting. I oh, also, and by, and by the way, on Disney Plus, there are extra deleted scenes from Endgame. Oh yeah, that, that's the other thing about Disney Plus. Like they have like the extra features are in there. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was the other thing I was watching. Uh, Big Hero Six uh, series, not bad. Nice. A little bit of the first episode, but I've also been watching the shorts that they put out. At least the first one. The second episode goes very Teen Titans Go. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Mm, not so great. Oh. <laughs> it's, I watched one. I'm like, ah, I don't know about this one. This is a little too goofy. So, but um, as a, <laughs> oh, there's that too. There's that too. I feel like I'm the only one that wasn't uh, touched in their soul as as a youth with the Goofy movie. Sork, well, Sork, have you seen it since? No, I haven't seen it since. Sorg, what the fuck are we even doing here? I have everything else to watch. Can I watch Sorg, plus, for plus, I accidentally subscribed to the rest of uh, ESPN and Hulu for the month, so I want to get in some stuff there. Sorg, Sorg, mm-hmm. Sorg, no. No. Before the show tomorrow night. <laughs> yeah, you, as if. You, it, it's, it's, it, it's 70 minutes, Sorg. It's not a long watch. <laughs> it's, it's not, not a not deep a, cut. It's not a long watch at all. See if it holds up. It, it, Sorg, I just watched it last week. That is okay. just one and one sixth of your twenty four hours. Yeah, I kind of just want to watch more Big Hero Six or Rebels. Sorg, I don't know. Sorg, or watch, or Lady watch or Lady and the Tramp. Sorg, watch a Goofy movie. Mm. Just, ha- I mean, since we're throwing out random stuff right now, did you guys know that Bob Saget was not the original Danny Tanner? What? Um, yes. Go what? On. I is found... there is there like a Captain Chris Pike of Full House? So basically what <laughs> happened was a guy got casted as Danny Tanner. They did the pilot, which was episode oh, one. He is the Chris Pike. And they like got to go ahead from, I think, I don't remember if it was NBC or ABC. 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 TJF, bitch. <laughs> so. I didn't my, the mood was right. The guy's on his way. Like the, the original Danny Tanner is on his way to shoot episode two. Mm-hmm. Gets a pager message saying, call, like, basically, call me. It's his agent. Yeah, you're not Danny Tanner. They went back and reshot every scene, scene for scene of the first episode and Whoa. released it with Bob Saget. No way. Ah. They did Christopher Pike him. Yeah, it was messed up. Except he didn't come back in a in a in a, in a, a, a wheelchair that beeps at you. So, so I watched the original pilot. Mm-hmm. This guy's creepy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like I can, com- like I can completely understand why it was there was a, there was a scene where you know Jesse said something about the Barbie Dream House, and he just gives this creepy smile and goes, "We have one," and I was like, "All right, I got to watch the first episode with Bob Saget," and it was just more natural with him. I was like, "Yeah, this creepy bastard." <laughs> That's because Bob Saget is filthy as fuck on stage, mm-hmm. which doesn't make sense of how he became such a Family Guy, and mm-hmm. not Peter. Acting, Act- acting, um, acting. So while we're talking about first casts, do you know who the original Shrek was? Uh, mm-hmm. It was Jim Carrey, wasn't it? No, no, no. All right, so they filmed or they recorded two thirds of the dialogue. Oh fuck! And then the actor passed away. No way. Uh huh. And it's a very well known actor. And who was buddies with Mike Myers. That's why Mike Myers got the part. Donkey. Any guesses? Who died right around 1999? Too late for John Candy. Correct. Too late for Chris Farley. Mm. Hmm? Wait. Was it Chris Farley? It's Chris Farley. No way. Yeah. You can find somewhere. I think it might be on one of the Shrek DVDs. It's definitely on YouTube somewhere. You can find the recording with Chris Farley doing all of Shrek. Oh, I'm looking that up before I leave. <laughs> I might have to. <laughs> Mad Mike, great to have yeah. you here. Hi. Yeah. Mad Mike for eighty three on the Twitters. Uh, YouTube.com slash Poppy. Nick Farah, he does things in wrestling form. I do things in wrestling form. <laughs> Uh, that's my new. That's my new tagline for IG. 
Kind of like how we... Uh, the guy who does things in oh wrestling. Oh, no. Club. Oh, no. The guy that does things around professionalized wrestling. Yes. Mm-hmm. Do you think it would fit? No. No. Don't try it, please. Uh, you know what? I don't even know, but don't do it. <laughs> just don't do it. Please just don't do it. That one guy from Pittsburgh. Oh, jeez. That one guy YouTube. from Pittsburgh. YouTube.com slash Baby Yoda. <laughs> I think it's too late already. Somebody's got that. So Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, give, him, I'll mm. give, him, give him some props. <laughs> Penis of Baby Yoda makes her heart happy. Sorgatron on the Twitter. Uh, we are also going to have, we have, um, but, like I said, Bubba the Bulldog will be joining us uh, after the holiday. I don't know that we're going to have another interview before the holiday uh, because next Wednesday we'll be in Erie with Revenge Pro on Thanksgiving Eve. Holy shit. <laughs> There's going to be a Thanksgiving Eve show. It's going to be crazy. Uh, congratulations, to those, congratulations to those guys. They just, uh, uh, again, for the second time in a row, set a new pre-sale record. Nice. So good for them. It so is going to be, dude, it there? is, what? Is there going to be turkey there? Is there going to be like a gravy bowl match? I don't know. Oh, my God. I hope not. Marshall's, it's Marshall's ring. He'll be pissed. Uh, well, no, but you have that outside the ring. And it yeah. Well, there's also carpeted. It's a ball. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so you got <laughs> gravy in your rug burns. Ugh. Ooh. Um, and also we just, uh, we're also going to have after the holiday, we're going to have Christian Noir on, and he's going to be hitting a milestone here in his career. So we're going to be talking to him about that after the holiday. Um, and we're going to be filling out the rest and we're trying to figure out, oh, we are official the Tuesday, uh, I guess the Tuesday before Christmas, not Christmas Eve, but the Tuesday proper before Christmas, we will be having a very good guys Christmas. Okay. So the 17th. Yes, the seventeenth, I believe. Okay, because the nineteenth is Star Wars Day, and I just got my tickets today. Okay, we should do a show on Christmas Eve. On Christmas Eve, somebody. But, no, but like, you, you want to hear it, what was pitched no, to me? No, but sorry, we do it like the twenty third mm-hmm. at midnight. Mm. So it's technically on Christmas Eve, but we can also like go like, out and Monday. hang out with our families. It's and Monday shit night. night. Well, you, you know, you know, yeah, like we do it really late after all. I brought up the STD Christmas special. And okay. I was asked to do it at a Christmas Eve party and oh just stream boy. from there. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. That sounds dangerous. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sounds very dangerous. Mm-hmm. Yep. They'd get, that would get us pulled from Facebook. <laughs> pulled from a lot of things. Uh, the guys, thank you so much for joining us again. We'll be back 9 p.m. Tuesday night on all the Wrestling Mayhem Show feeds with the successful Saint, Jordan Styles, two-time Emmy winner. We'll be joining us in studio. So looking forward to that. We'll see you guys then. Until then, uh, mayhem out, I guess. Protect Baby Yoda. Protect Baby Yoda. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time. Then attack. Don't give up what you want. Take it back. Wait for the perfect time. Then this show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatron Media. Whoa. 